Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today I'm gonna to be going over a few new product announcements from Anycubic. Now, they've already teased us recently about some upcoming printers and a multi-color printing accessory, but now we've got official confirmation on what those are going to be. But I do wanna tell you upfront that really all they're giving us is just some basic core information. As of right now, when I record this, there are no detailed pictures, there's no spec sheet, there's no product page, no release date, no prices, none of of that right now. So let's take a look at the latest teaser photo that Anycubic has put up. It says always room for more and at the bottom of this black sheet we see three different devices. The first one obviously being the multicolor filament system but then we have the second and the third one. The second one here is going to be a new Anycubic Cobra. So this is the Cobra 3 and then right next to it is a new Photon Mono Resin 3D printer. And here's the information that they provided via a press release on April 8th. So as I said, we got two new products from the Cobra and Photon line. We got the multicolor FDM printer Cobra 3 combo and the intellectual assisting Photon Mono 7 Pro, which has a 14K resolution. Starting with the Cobra 3. So this says that the Anycubic Cobra 3 itself stands out as a high speed FDM printer reaching a remarkable speed of 600 millimeters a second with Anycubic aiming to establish this as the new standard redefining the concept of typical speed. Now with that, I'm curious to know what that 600 millimeters is actually all about. Is that 600 millimeters a second printing speed or is it 600 millimeters per second travel speed? And what's the acceleration? We don't know because they didn't list that here, but I'm pretty sure what most people are really interested in is the combo unit that they're calling the Color Engine Pro. So it says that it caps captivates users with this most exciting feature, genuine multicolor 3D printing. It facilitates a cascade of two units, augmenting the printing of models from four colors to eight. Moreover, the color engine offers practical features such as RFID recognition, which detects any cubic filament colors and surplus status and actively drying functionality that dries filament during printing. So effectively, this can replace your filament drying box if you have one of those, and you'll be able to print up to eight different colors at once. That's awesome. But they're also taking that bamboo lab route when it comes to recognizing their specific filaments via the RFID, and then it should be able to automatically figure out what the appropriate temperatures and speeds and all the other specs that you would normally have to fiddle with manually to just know what to do so that you won't have have to worry about taking care of that yourself. And that's also something that Creality's new filament system is also going to do. But what we don't know is whether or not you'll be able to use regular generic filaments or another filament from another company with this. I'm guessing that you would just without any of the RFID enabled features, but we'll see. Here's some more information for the future. Furthermore, following the excitement surrounding the Cobra 3 combo, Anycubic emphasizes its dedication to offering a diverse range of 3D printer types in the upcoming phases, ranging from bed slinger to core XY structure, catering to the needs of users. The emphasis on plug and play functionality resonates with the expanding user base, which now encompasses individuals from all backgrounds and expertise levels. So while we don't know right now whether the Cobra 3 is going to be a core XY or a bed slinger 3D printer, at least we know that there is a core XY printer coming from Anycubic at some point in the future and it's geared towards the everyday person looking for a plug and play experience. Now for the resin side, we got an update on the Photon series with the Photon Mono M7 Pro and the M7. All right, so this is gonna be a 14K resin 3D printer with speeds up to 130 millimeters per hour. And then they start talking a little bit of vague language here. So it says that um, it is thoughtfully handling every stage of the printing process using AI. A, intelligent assistant support that's made possible through core algorithms such as AI vision, motion control, and motor control, which reduce the barrier to entry for users and amplify the overall printing experience. While the integration of intelligent assistant accelerates printing speeds, it also prioritizes printing quality and reliability. Now, I really don't know what this means in terms of what this AI is actually going to be doing. 
AI vision, motion control, and motor control. AI vision, maybe it's something to do with failure detection. Okay, that's cool. But motion control and motor control, um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's going to uh, intelligently regulate the speeds of printing depending on a variety of factors, perhaps. I don't know, we'll see. But the fun doesn't stop there with any Cubic. They're gonna have some exclusive filaments coming out thanks to a collaboration with another company called Pantone. And they actually showed what those colors are on their Instagram page. So it's April 10th as I record this and they put this up in the morning. So here are these four exclusive colors with this partnership. They got Interstellar Violet, Spring Leaf, Tropical Turquoise, and Peach Fuzz. And when you look at this right here, I mean, I'm assuming this is their filament system here, but this says Anycubic Ace Pro. And Ace Pro is not mentioned anywhere in that press release. So that's why this whole thing is just a little bit confusing. They called it a combo unit, but here they're, they have the Ace Pro badging on it, but Ace Pro is not mentioned anywhere. So it's, ah, it's just so confusing right now. I need to clear up that message in Cubic. But anyway, yeah, these are just four of the filament colors that they're gonna have coming out. But now let's get back to some of those announcements. All right, so this next part is something I think a lot of you are really going to appreciate, especially given some of the security concerns that have popped up as of late. So this is about software, slicing software. So it says that Anycubic has assembled a team of developers to revolutionize the Anycubic slicer and the Photon Workshop platforms. Now, here's the thing. It says that from an Enabling easy colorization, which is gonna be great for the multicolor accessory, modification and slicing of multicolor models to empowering users with remote capabilities across various devices, including computers and smartphones. Any cubic software upgrades are set to simplify the intricacies of multicolor 3D printing, real-time monitoring, video surveillance, blah, blah, blah. But here, here's the thing right here. The software will support local area network mode for Cobra 3 series, enabling users to remotely operate their 3D printers via slicing software within their local network. This ensures smooth functionality without the constraints of network latency, thereby boosting user privacy and printing experience. I think this is something that people were really wanting to have. The fact that you could connect your printer to the internet, but you had to go through any cubic in order to use the features. But now with the Cobra 3, I wish it were used for past printers as well. We'll see if they do that. But it's great that now with the Cobra 3, you'll be able to use your own local area network. No more middleman. And that is a huge deal, especially considering the big privacy snafu that any cubic recently went through with a lot of people's printers being hacked by a good guy hacker. And last but not least, Anycubic is pushing its maker online website that I didn't know existed until today. But this is just a place where people will be able to upload their designs, their 3D prints, so that others will be able to uh, download the files and print them out on their own. So, you know, something similar to like uh, Maker World or Printables, you know, something like that. And this layout right here is very, very um, pretty much identical <laughs> to, to what you see in Maker World world as far as uh, where the files are located and everything. But this is just another resource that you can use to find some 3D prints. And just like printables, they're going to be having some design contests. Like up here, they have a toy design contest, decor, and last to wonder design contests. So um, you can expect them to really be pushing this in the future as well. But if you just need another resource to look for things to print in addition to the normal places that you may go to, then you might want to add Maker Online to that list so that you know you can just have more access to more cool things to print so that's it those are the major announcements from any cubic in press release form but i really hope that in the very near future we'll be able to see some actual high resolution photos and, and pricing and release dates and all that other very important information about these products, as well as seeing this, this multicolor unit in action, especially since they described it as this cascading unit that uses two of them to give you eight colors instead of four. 
how is that going to work? How is it going to look? And is this even compatible with past printers that they have? Based on this, it doesn't seem like it, but all that additional clar clarification I think is needed and necessary in this instance. So let me know down in the comments if this changed your mind about any cubic in any way, shape or form, if you had an opinion about them to begin with. And are you looking forward to any of these printers that they have coming out? So I'm going to keep my eye on this. And if they do have anything else relevant to share, I'll be sure to let you know about it. But until then, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.